inherited and acquired traits. Today we're going to explore an interesting scientific fact. Take a look at these two cactus plants. The small one grew from the larger one. It looks a lot like the original plant, but not exactly alike. Are you wondering how that is possible? Let's compare the characteristics or traits as they are also known – of the young plant and the parent plant. They seem nearly identical. Both are green, have sharp thorns, and a fleshy stem. However, the young plant is smaller and a slightly different shape than the older one. There's a bulge on one side, whereas the original plant has a smooth line. So the plants are similar, but not the same. And that's because the parent plant has passed on some traits to its offspring. That is called inheritance. Inheritance is all around us. Take a look at this dog and its puppies. Can you see the similarities between the parent dog and its offspring? They both have the same fluffy coat. Their fur is a very similar color, although the pattern of their spots is slightly different. Their eyes are the same shape, but the color isn't quite the same. The puppies have inherited all these traits from their parents. Have you spotted one big difference, though? Look at the tails! The parent dog's tail is missing, most likely because of an accident before the puppies were born. This is known as an acquired trait. Acquired traits happen because of environmental or accidental changes. So it means the puppies didn't inherit the mother's short tail when they were born. Other examples might be developing big muscles from practicing sports or having skills like painting or playing music. So unlike inherited traits, the acquired traits of the body can't be passed from parents to offspring. Are you ready to start an investigation of your own? Make a list of the different traits you can find in living organisms around you. Which are inherited and which are acquired.